Welcome to our second episode of Virtual Annual Meeting News. I'm your host, Jen Ives, Associate Director of Meetings for AMS. Today we'll be talking about another exciting way our presenters will be sharing their science during our virtual annual meeting in January, our poster sessions. When we decided to take our annual meeting virtual back in July, uh, one of the first things we did was uh, look at the, our meeting schedule and we decided to focus most of our live session time on Q&A and discussion and that goes for our posters too. So that does mean that um, we moved up a lot of our content um, on demand and online for our uh, attendees um, so that they can view that before they come to the meeting and uh, come prepared for those live sessions. Uh, our on-demand content will be available in our virtual meeting platform starting on January 4th um, and it will also be available for three months after the meeting as well so you can keep looking for a while <laughs> and then we'll also be archiving it um, as well. I'll go into that in a few minutes. Um, we also shortened our days so that um, our attendees wouldn't be in front of screens for quite as long. We do begin at 10 a.m. Eastern time and end at 5 p.m. Eastern, although there are events that go on in the evenings that I do encourage you to attend as well. Um, that does mean that we did shorten our poster sessions themselves. At an in-person meeting, um, they're two hours long, but uh, for our virtual meeting, uh, we shortened them down to an hour and a half. But the good news is, is that uh, we are able to add two more days of posters, Thursday and Friday, um, more than we traditionally do at our in-person meeting. Um, so we have five days of posters, um, each 90 minutes long. To access the poster hall, uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is register for the annual meeting. Um, once you're registered, uh, you'll get information on logging into the virtual meeting platform, which does open on um, January 4th. Um, and once you're in the platform, um, here's a little uh, preview here. Um, on the left hand side, you'll see um, an option for a poster hall or also on our main page there is a spot for the poster hall as well and you'll enter that. This is our poster hall here. All of our virtual posters are shown as tiles. Um, at the top you'll be able to search uh, for posters uh, by name or keyword um, or uh, presenter name or affiliation. Um, you'll also be able to filter them um, by, by conference or by day. Um, th that will help you um, just be able to sort through all of the posters that we have um, at our meeting. And you just want to click on the poster to view it. That's all you have to do. The other thing I want to show, to show you is that you can click on the star here um, and that uh, will add the poster to your favorites so that you can also plan your week um, and plan which uh, posters you want to go back to and visit. Um, if you need help accessing the poster hall at any time, um, you can and you're within the platform, I encourage you to go to the AMS information booth, which can be found on the, um, the homepage of our virtual meeting platform, or you can email posters.ametsoc.org. Now I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what you can do before the poster session begins. Um, like I said, the platform will be available starting on the 4th of January, so you'll be able to get in there, browse all the posters like I just showed you, um, and figure out um, you know, which posters you want to view during the live sessions, um, Monday through Friday. Um, so if you click on a poster, this is what it looks like. Um, there are, this is just a test, um, so um, please bear with me, um, but I wanted to be able to show you around a little bit. Um, so up here at the top, you can see the title of the poster. Um, and then also um, here's the thumbnail that the uh, presenter has uploaded as well as their abstract text and their list of co-authors. And also most importantly, I think before the meeting um, are the materials down here that the poster presenter has uploaded ahead of time. Um, the poster presenter is uh, required to upload a PDF image of their poster so that you can view that just like you would at an in-person meeting. Um, we're also encouraging them to upload um, a video file uh, of them walking through the poster um, itself or going through um, you know, a, a presentation about the poster um, like we're doing now. Um, also, uh, they're invited to upload their extended abstract as well, just like at an in-person meeting. Um, so these are the files that you'll be looking to view before the uh, meeting takes place as homework um, so that you can come prepared for those live sessions ready to um, you know, discuss the posters with the poster presenters while they're available. Um, 
and I'll, I'll show you a little bit about how to do that um, in a moment. Um, the poster presenter will be listed here. And also um, before the meeting, you can also um, chat with the poster presenter here. If you see this little blue button, um, you'll be able to um, chat with that poster presenter because they're available and logged in, um, even if it's not poster session time, um, just because you know we realize sometimes zones don't work for everyone. So um, that's where you would interact um, with that poster presenter before the meeting. Also before the meeting, um, up here um, and you want to set up a time for the two of you to meet, um, you can click up here where it says let, um, let's meet and uh, that will take you to a page where you can um, send an email off to the poster presenter asking um, either, you know, let's meet before the meeting or, um, you know, or after the meeting takes place uh, or while the meeting um, you know, is taking place, maybe at a different time um, than normal, which uh, we think is a great opportunity um, between this and then the materials, we think is just so much more that our poster presenters are able to um, offer um, to attendees and really show off their poster and all of their research. So we're really excited about um, these opportunities in a virtual setting. And now during a poster session, um, assuming that you know you've viewed all of um, you know the, the posters that you wanted to see, you can go through to just your favorites and see just the posters that, that you've starred, um, so that you know you know you have a curated list of posters that you're interested in, um, and you're ready to you know. Um, walk around virtually um, and talk to the different poster presenters, just like you would in an in-person meeting, although it's obviously like over the computer. Um, so we're encouraging um, everyone to use this um, feature up here that says, uh, oh, sorry, uh, join booth chat. Um, that will open up a chat window on the right-hand side here um, that will include anyone who's at the poster and the poster presenter. Um, that way um, it's recreating um, as best we can um, you know, those conversations that are happening um, at the meeting um, in the busy poster hall in front of uh, the, the presenter's poster um, where people are kind of, you know, popping in and out. Um, there's a back and forth and maybe people are, you know, listening in on other people's conversations and asking their own questions off of that, or maybe they're not, um, maybe they're just listening. And so um, that's what that um, feature will recreate. Um, also on the right hand side here, um, you can chat with just that poster presenter individually, or um, you can do a, a video chat up to five people as well. Um, but really during the actual poster session, we're encouraging people to use this you know, this booth chat so that our poster presenters are able to talk to, you know, um, more people at one time. Also during the poster sessions themselves, you'll still be able to remind yourself of their homework and their materials so you can take a look at that as well. Or if you see that, you know, um, you know, the session's ending um, and you want to set up a time to meet with the poster presenter um, because maybe your question wasn't addressed in the chat or you wanted to get into it more um, or just, you know, wish to talk to them um, in more detail, um, then you can hit on the let's, that, the let's meet button and um, set up a time to meet later as well. If you need help during a poster session, go to the AMS booth in the, in the platform or email posters at ametsoc.org. Um, also, I want to remind you that um, if you uh, would like if you need to report any violations to the AMS policy on professional and respectful conduct, um, please email conduct at ametsoc.org or call 617-226-3965. Once the poster session ends, uh, the fun doesn't end there. Um, like I said, you can keep uh, interacting with poster presenters after the session ends. You can keep that conversation going, um, whether it's in the chat or um, just reaching out later um, and meeting up. Um, also, posters are available in the virtual meeting platform for three months, um, which is great because if you didn't get to all the posters um, that you wanted to go see or um, you find some later or a friend tells you about it, um, you can go back to that for three months. And then after that, we'll archive everything in the online program you know, forever, just like we do for all of our other meetings. Um, I hope you're as excited about virtual posters as uh, we are. Um, we're excited about all of the content that our poster presenters can add to their virtual poster and all the ways that they can interact with you uh, before, during, and after the, after the conference. Um, that's it for this episode of Virtual Annual Meeting News. Um, I'll see you next time where we'll, where we'll talk a little bit more about all of the exciting networking opportunities uh, we'll have for you during, uh, during the week. Thanks and have a great day.